what's up guys it's Farha here in this video I'm going to be sharing with you six Revit tips and tricks let's get started so tip number one is about rotating the objects let's say you want to you want to place this object at 45 degrees so what we usually do is just place this and then use rotate and rotate at 45 degrees right but there is another way to do that which is a lot more easier you just need to look for the corner in your project like this one and then just hover the component over the corner and hit spacebar and you can see it rotated at 45 degrees so each time you hit spacebar it will add 15 degrees to the angle of rotation now let's place this here now another tip about rotating the objects is using the object from the drawing as a reference what does that mean let's say you want to place a component I will just search for a chair let's say you want to place this following this curve so you just need to hover over the curve and hit spacebar and now you can see if I move the cursor it's following that curve now once you are happy with the angle you can just move your cursor and place the component and if I hover over this curve again and you can see it snapping this curve again so you can just move your cursor and place the component so this way you can easily rotate the objects tip number two is about creating the floor plans uh, floor plan renderings like this in Revit someone asked me how we can create such floor plan renderings in Revit using the section box well you don't need section box to create such renderings you just need to reduce the wall heights first you need to create the copy of this 3d view just go here right click duplicate and let's rename this floor plan rendering now you need to set the camera view so it seems perfect now let's lock this camera view just go here click on this lock icon and select save orientation and lock view and you can see this view is locked we cannot orbit around or do any changes to this view so let's uh, reduce the wall heights select all these walls and then you can just change the height of these walls so let's try three feet and it seems perfect and before going for the rendering we need to edit the crop region so just go here and click on this show crop region button and it will give us this uh, this crop region just adjust that as per your plan and let's do the rendering I will do this at medium at 300 dpi just leave the exterior sun only and for the background you can select the color let's try this color and render so the rendering is now finished and as you can see we have created this cool looking uh, floor plan rendering in Revit let's export this floor plan rendering So I actually did this at low render settings that's why it's not looking that good but you can go for uh, higher render settings by the way I created this whole project for my interior course uh, you can get that from my website just follow the link in the description anyway let's move to the tip number three which is about copying the material names it's very simple but uh, it will save some of your time so let's say you want to apply a same material to multiple objects in your project like this one I want to apply the same cabinet material 
to this to draw material here so what we usually do is just open up the material browser again and select from here right but there is another way to do that which is a lot easier you can just copy the material names so just click on this material which you want to which you want to apply to the other objects then control c to copy the material name and just paste that where you want to apply the same it's very simple but as i said it will save some of your time now moving on to tip number four which is about uh, exporting the rendered images so let's say you created a rendering i will just do a quick rendering here so the rendering is now finished and let's save this to the project kitchen rendering now let's say you wanted to export this rendering into your computer but you accidentally close this uh, dialog if i open this rendering dialog again you can see you don't have the export option anymore so you don't need to render this scene again uh, you still have a way to export that rendered image so if you remember we saved that into a project right so let's go to the rendering here and the rendering name was kitchen rendering if i will just open this up and now to export this you can just go to file export then images and animations then image here first you need to select the location where you want to save your rendered image okay i'll just rename this kitchen rendering and here you need to select zoom to just check this and uh, just make it 100 and then uh, you can select the file format and here in the raster image quality you, you need to select the same uh, as the rendering so i did this rendering at 300 dpi so i will select that here and then click ok and it will export the image to our computer let's see that perfect so you don't you did not have to go for the rendering again now moving on to tip number five which is about placing the components on sloped surfaces like this i have created these two ramps now let's load a vehicle family into this project good insert load uh, load family and here I have this vehicle family which I have downloaded from revitimport.com where you will find uh, HD Revit families. You can use my coupon code which I will put somewhere on the screen to get 15% off. Anyway, let's load this family into this project. And go to top view and place that here. let's go to 3d and you can see it actually did not placed uh, on the ramp if i orbit around here you can see it did not perfectly placed uh, on the ramp so to fix this you just need to double click on the component and it will open up the family editor and here you just need to go to properties and then scroll down and you have a bunch of these options here about the placement of this uh, component so you can see this always vertical is checked so you need to uncheck that and then select the work plane based just check this apply and let's load this family into our project override the existing version and there you go the component is now perfectly uh, placed on the ramp let's try to place that on this one and on this curve ramp also you can see it placed perfectly now moving on to the final tip which is about uh, creating a project file for a particular uh, component category what does that mean let's say you have plenty of families of a particular category like i have uh, the sideboards families here what you can do is just create a new project and we'll select architectural template 
and here you just need to load all these families I will just drag and drop all these here just create a floor and place all the components which we have just loaded in one by one let's start from the top so as you can see I have placed all these components into this project let's move them and take to the center and I will edit the floor as well it's a bit time consuming but uh, you can do this in your free time so next time whenever you need to use the sideboard component in your project uh, you can just open this project and it will be easy for you to find the component which you are looking for so let's say you want to use this one in your project you can just select that and control C to copy and go to your project and then just control V to paste that just click OK and you can see it's very easy to place that here so these were the six tips i wanted to share with you guys i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior courses you can follow the link in the description and yeah see you guys in the next video